Welcome to the video course, Fast Data Processing Systems with Smack Stack by Raul Estrada Aparicio, a video course by Pact Publishing. I am Alistair Ruane and I will be the presenter for this course. Raul Estrada Aparicio is a programmer since 1996 and Java developer since 2001. He loves functional languages such as Scala, Elixir, Clojure, and Haskell. He also loves all the topics related to computer science. With more than 12 years of experience in high availability and enterprise software, he has designed and implemented architectures since 2003. His specialization is in systems integration and has participated in projects mainly related to the financial sector. He has been an enterprise architect for BEA Systems and Oracle Inc., but he also enjoys mobile programming and game development. He considers himself a programmer before an architect, engineer, or developer. He is also a crossfitter in San Francisco Bay Area, now focused on open source projects related to data pipelining, such as Apache Flink, Apache Kafka, and Apache Beam. Raul is a supporter of free software and enjoys experimenting with new technologies, frameworks, languages, and methods. SMAC is an open source full stack for big data architecture. It is a combination of Spark, Mesos, Akka, Cassandra, and Kafka. Finally, you will dive deep into the different aspects of SMAC using two practical case studies. By the end of the video, you will be able to integrate all the components of the SMAC stack and use them together to achieve highly effective and fast data processing. We have divided the content into nine sections. The first section, an introduction to SMAC, speaks about the fundamental SMAC architecture. We review the differences between the technologies in SMAC and the traditional data technologies. We also reviewed every technology in the SMAC. Section 2, the language, Scalar. Here we will understand Scalar collections. We will learn about iterators in Scalar and more functions with Scalar. Then we will move to the third section, the model, ACA where we will learn about actor model in a nutshell, and later on we will walk you through the working with actor. After this section, we will move on to the fourth section, the engine, Apache Spark. First, we will learn to run Spark functions in cluster mode, and the core part of this section is Spark streaming. The fifth section, the storage, Apache Cassandra describes using package managers and building systems for your application by means of WebStorm's built-in features. Post that, we will move to the sixth section, Connectors, Spark, Cassandra, and Akka. Here we will learn about the Spark Cassandra connector, Cassandra Spark streaming basics, and functions with Cassandra. We will also learn about the Akka and Cassandra connector. The Broker Apache Kafka is the seventh section. We will show some scalar examples for the different types of implementation and integrate for Kafka producers and consumers. In addition to the explanation of the Apache Kafka architecture and principles, we'll explore the Kafka integration with the rest of the SMAC stack. Next, we will move to the eighth section, connectors, Akka, Spark, Kafka, and Cassandra. We will analyze the connectors. Here we will look at the relationship between Akka and Spark, then between Kafka and Akka, and finally between Kafka and Cassandra. Finally, the last section, the manager, Apache Mesos. We'll start by understanding the Apache Mesos architecture and all about the resource allocation. Then we will learn Mesos cluster on a private data center. After this, we will explore about scheduling and management frameworks. We will then have a look at Apache Spark, Apache Cassandra, and Apache Kafka on Apache Mesos. With the help of various industry examples, you will learn about the full stack of big data architecture, taking the important aspects in every technology. You will learn how to integrate the technologies to build effective systems rather than getting incomplete information on single technologies. You will learn how various open source technologies can be used to build cheap, and fast data processing systems with the help of various industry examples. The reader should have some experience in programming, Java or Scala, some experience in Linux, Unix operating systems, and the basics of databases. For Spark, the fundamentals of Scala programming language. 
for MESOS, the basics of operating systems administration, for Cassandra, the fundamentals of databases, also for Kafka, the basic knowledge about Scalar. So let's begin this journey together, and I hope to see you there.